Welcome everybody. This is video number 97. This is going to be Tides Part 2. We're going to focus on Spring and Neap Tide. So I'm going to bring you two special cases here. Spring Tide is going to be your first one. So Spring Tide means it's the changes that's the greatest between high and low tide. So this is going to be your highest high tide and your lowest low tide. So there's going to be a huge difference in that day. And the way I think about it is say you're, you're with your Grammy and you're down by the ocean and you put your chairs right on the edge of the ocean when you get there. You would absolutely need to move your chairs between high and low tide because you would be underwater because the change would be so great. So spring tide, why does this happen? This happens because the sun gravity starts pulling on Earth's waters too. Uh, you get a combination of the sun and moon and when they do that all in a straight line, that's why you get the very high and the very low. So I'm showing you these diagrams here. I would definitely write these down. Um, you can totally include the faces of the moon uh, if you want, but for right now I'm using these as just uh, the position. So sun, earth, moon, and then sun, moon, earth. So let's do a time frame here. So it occurs twice a month during the full and new moon, and it's largest around the equinox, right? Which would make a lot of sense because where your sun is. Now let's talk about neap tide, and I like to say it like that. It's neap tide, and that's because that's the least change between the daily high and low. So if you're thinking you're back with your Grammy on the ocean and hanging out for the day, you're not really going to have to move your chair much because there's not going to be a big difference. There's almost no difference between high and low tide. So neap tide talks about the moon and the sun's gravitational force. They're at a 90 degree angle or uh, yeah, 90 degrees or right angle. Uh, and that's how they um, kind of like null each other out. So everybody's pulling in opposite directions so you don't get that big high or low. In fact, you actually get almost no change at all. So take a look at the positions here. Now you could also draw this moon underneath like um, at 6 o'clock. So if it's at 12 o'clock now, you could draw it at 6. Um, and this is showing you your neap tide. Let's talk about time frame of, oops, that should say neap tide. I should fix that. Uh, it should say during first quarter and third quarter. Um, third quarter and last quarter, as you see in the picture down here, mean the same thing. All right, I've got a really cute little song for you. <laughs> Enjoy the song. So here's your summary time. Uh, create a T chart and compare and contrast the spring and neap, si neap tides. Uh, be sure to define, describe, label, diagram, and include the time frames. Uh, bonus points if you include the phases of the moon as well. And as always, thanks for watching.